cucumber beetles will single-handedly reduce your crop by so much. They're these beautiful little beetles. They cause so much damage. And I'm excited to share with you today what to look for about their life cycle as well, and then the strategies that you can use so that you will actually have an abundant harvest. So cucumber beetles affect all cucurbits, not just cucumbers, but winter squash, summer squash, melons, that includes cantaloupe as well as watermelon. And they will cause four kinds of damage. They will gnaw your seedlings to bits. They love, love, love that young, tender growth. But they will also go after the buds and the pollen the petals even oh man and they will totally feed on the roots but most devastatingly number four they transmit the bacteria erwinia that is responsible for bacterial wilt so that is quite a litany of reasons to dissuade cucumber beetles from being in your life and here's a little bit about their life cycle and then the strategies so they overwinter as adults in your fields in your gardens in un if you don't if you leave litter in your garden like not litter like there's your coca-cola bottle but if you leave your cucumber um, plant dead in your garden all winter there's probably a cucumber beetle overwintering right there so be sure to actually rotate your crops in that way take out all of that litter put it in the compost or even farther and also you want to be sure that when they emerge it's usually in late june here um, that you have all of your um, cucurbits covered in row cover is the dreamiest dream. They have an eight week life cycle and the adults will emerge. They'll lay these beautiful copper bronze eggs on the underside of cucurbit leaves, um, all clustered. If you see them in a grid, that's a squash borer, but if you see them 20 eggs as a cluster um, and the size of a pinhead, that is most likely your cucumber beetle. And so those larvae will the eggs will hatch, the larvae will fall into the ground, they munch on the roots. No big deal. They're really, really small and they're really not munching a whole lot. The only time that the root um, is going to be impacted by the larval stage of the cucumber beetle is an extreme drought. drought. <laughs> so don't worry too much about it. The adults, on the other hand, once they pupate, emerge from the soil, are going to mow on your leaves, on your petals, on your flowers, as well as on your forming buds. They go crazy and will destroy so much of your actual chlorophyll making body of the leaves, but then also transmitting this bacteria called Erwinia so that you're act they're actually transmitting bacterial wilt. And also just anytime you have an open wound, you're exposing yourself to those secondary bacterial infections that might arise. And the same is true for cucumber beetles and their feeding, opening the vascular tissue of your cucurbits, um, exposing them to lots of other um, interesting and potentially devastating diseases. So the four things that you can do to prevent cucumber beetles wreaking havoc in your life. Number one, you want to clear that dead cu cucurbit leaf litter from your garden from the years prior as well as rotate. You also want to cover all of your young cucurbits, whether you direct seed them or transplant them with row cover, with that film of light woven polyester. It's white and it's, it comes in heavy um, materials that are great for like, temperature and like, shoulder seasons, making sure that things aren't affected by frost, but also comes exquisitely light just for insect exclusion. And that's ideally what you want for your cucurbits. Um, so cover your cucurbits with row cover. And you want to squish those adults whenever you see them. And the eggs are the dream because you're getting 30 all at once. But squish these adults. Yes, squish them. And that is an excellent way to curb their population from blossoming further. And um, finally, there's this product called Pyganic that is a certified organic product and it's a product of uh, pyrethrins from oxide daisies so it has some natural roots but it's a very very strong pesticide that's not as limited to cucumber beetles as i would love so it's kind of a last resort for us if we are killing our cucumber beetles with pyganic and i encourage the same for you the best thing you can do is just clean up your garden each season rotate put on your row cover as soon as they are 
um, as soon as you plant your cucurbits, take them off as soon as they begin to flower, um, and then squish the dogs whenever you see them. There you have it, friends. Best of luck.